a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Vintage Collection review. Got one from the new Clone Wars, these have just hit Australia this week, maybe late last week. Um, at the moment they're exclusive to uh, Zing Pop Culture slash EB Games. There are a few more retailers out there that are getting them, but uh, for the most part I don't think we'll see them at any other major retailers, at least here in Australia. Um, so Zing is the way to go. Um, I picked up two of this guy. This is really the only one that sort of interests me at the moment. I might get the captain as well on the red card. Um, but yeah, I, I bought them both as openers. So I do have an open one here. Uh, I'll be opening this one later, but I've decided to keep it carded for the meantime. Um, just to show off the artwork because I think it's really, really cool. Um, Probably my one gripe with the figure already is that he doesn't come with the uh, Art Trooper rifle that's pictured on the box, but uh, do have one handy. And uh, yeah, probably just the minor difference that uh, doesn't have all the sort of Art Trooper gear that the uh, character has on the show. Like you can even just sort of see it there. Um, just ever so slightly different, but it's cool. I dig it. We've had uh, Captain Fordo. Um, who is released in this line as Arc Trooper Captain, um, only in his Phase 1 version, but we've had that figure before. And uh, yeah, this one looks good. I like the artwork on the back. A little bit more of a write-up on the history of it would be, would be better. And uh, yeah, we're past the 50th anniversary now, um, being 2021. But uh, yeah, I guess these figures were probably announced during 2021. I'm just sort of getting to them now. Uh, the cards, I don't know if the I can't decide whether the cardboard's any thicker. A lot of people have talked about the, uh, the thickness of the cardstock. I feel like some of the more recent ones, like Fennec and Ahsoka, have definitely felt a bit thicker. But, um, yeah, not too bad, but, um, yeah, they're definitely begging for a little bit, something a little bit more sturdy. But, uh, anyway, let's take a look at the figure out of the packaging. All right, here he is. This is the uh, figure that is uh, probably well known as Alpha, um, I guess. Potentially a precursor and a um, inspiration for Captain Rex in, in many ways, mainly sort of the blue. Um, makes sense. But yeah, this is a really cool version of this figure. I've always loved this clone sculpt. Uh, particularly for the Phase 1s, it hasn't worked so well with the Phase 2 clones in the Vintage Collection era. Um, just because the helmets have, have been a little bit too big, whereas on the Phase 1s they kind of, they look pretty good. Um, even though they're removable, maybe a little big on the front and back, but otherwise, otherwise I think they look better than the, uh, than the Phase 2s by a long shot. So, it's a good one. I, I, I dig this one a lot. I love the blue. Yeah, definitely. When these were announced, I wasn't too fussed about the Jedi. They're great for people that didn't have the Jedi before. Um, good chance to get those characters, even though they're sort of the paint schemes are, you know, more on the artwork of the Tartakovsky Clone Wars series as opposed to sort of the realistic style. But, um, yeah, this is one I definitely wanted to get a couple of, given that I have the LAAT transport dropship. Um, and definitely needs a couple of these guys to man that. So, having having Captain Fordo as well in both his Phase 1 and Phase 2 outfits loose, um, they will go great together. So, hopefully, we get another wave of these. I think these would be pretty cool. The only one I haven't seen is the Battle Droid. Um, but if the, the quality of the battle droids are uh, to go by anything with the recent releases, um, I'll be happy to, I'm happy to pass on them anyway, so not a big problem there. But yeah, this was one I definitely wanted to pick up. I don't know that I'll get any more if, if I do find myself with uh, either the Jedi, the battle droid, or the other clone. I will definitely do a review, but for now we're just going with the Ark Trooper. But uh, the thing that surprised my workmates is uh, the helmet is removable. And uh, got nice, they've used the Captain Fordo head here from pr 
previous release. Giving you some sort of photo reel. And yeah, it doesn't look like to Morrison, looks a little bit more like the uh, the other actor that did the sort of younger clones, Bodie Taylor. Perhaps a little bit more sort of gaunt, but that just could be the, the, the sort of size of the head. It does, it looks better in person than it does on camera. So you do get a lot of light reflecting. Looks like one of the eyes isn't painted right, but when you're looking at it straight up, it looks fine. Just that light sort of catching, catching the white and the, the shine of the eyes. But overall, I think they've done a good job. Wasn't sure how I felt about them colouring in the whole sort of T-visor there around the front. Whereas normally it sort of tapers in sort of above the cheekbone there. But that looks, actually looks pretty good. I dig that a lot. That might be the reason why I get the uh, Captain as well. Because I don't think they did that with Fordo. I think they sort of had it sort of tapering in with the uh, visor line there. So as opposed to the sort of cheekbone of the armour. to get them all matching and looking cool get some more phase one clones make a pretty cool display with these ones do like the sort of pauldron i'll probably end up sort of gluing that in place just so it doesn't wobble around so much because it did does wobble around but it's not a big deal but yeah there's just something about the phase ones does need a little bit of a dunk in some hot water just to sort of make the and then cold again just so that sort of stays up because it is sort of folded in from being in the packaging yeah i will be switching it out for the arc trooper rifle when i eventually get into my collection again but yeah it does sort of fit in there nicely i like the karma i like the blue work well on a Captain Rex. <laughs> if I were to do another one. So that's cool. It's a nice figure. I'm digging it. Nicely poseable. Try and pop that gun out again. Pose him up like how i had him in the thumbnail which i did take a photo of before i did the video so there we go there is the arc trooper some may call him alpha a precursor to rex definitely got that sort of phase one rex sort of feel to it awesome love to hear your thoughts please sound out down below drop a comment thank you all so much for your support recently i know my content isn't as constant as, as it has been recently but uh it's it's working out if things are getting better so i'm uh, looking forward to definitely spending a little bit more time getting some more content out when i can but yeah, I appreciate all your support for, for hanging out and sticking with me for this, this time. I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully getting things back into motion in the coming months. Just check it out. I'll just love the look of this figure as you sort of spin it around. You get some really cool looks. If you mess around with lighting, you get some really cool looking looking poses I'm digging that sort of look there let's animate that that's cool all right <laughs> i'm not going to sit here playing with the figure for the rest of the video stay tuned i've got some more reviews coming up I've, i know for a fact that i have some figures coming in uh on the way so i'm looking forward to those um 
yeah, we'll stay tuned and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.